Hey everyone, this is Scott from CertMedia.com, and in this video we're covering CAOS, also known as the Complete Analytics Optimization Suite. This is a free plugin that effectively exists as a means to host Google Analytics locally. Now, what we're going to premise this video is, number one, if you're using Perf Matters or WP Rocket, you do not need this plugin. Um, those plugins already have that functionality built in. This is just a free alternative if you're not using those plugins. I'm noticing a trend among some of the videos where people are overlapping functionality, so just keep that in mind. The Complete Analytics Optimization Suite is quite simple. You install it, you get this nice little screen, and you're asked to input a Google Analytics tracking ID. You will input the ID here, including the UA, and then you're gonna set the parameter for allow tracking. You could choose to always, which is the default. When a cookie is not set, when a cookie has a certain value, when a cookie is set, uh, for most websites, you're just gonna leave it as always and you're gonna forget about it, and that's totally fine. You could choose to use a asynchronous script, which is going to be ideal. You want your analytics script to be asynchronous, so that way it's not impeding the rendering of your website. You could choose to load it in the header, the footer, or add it manually. If you choose to add it manually, you'll have to copy this to the theme or plugin, which is displaying the snippet. I'll actually go ahead and show you what this looks like, and it asks that you copy this script. Uh, for most websites, you can either choose it to put the header or the footer. Um, the footer is ideal, just because then it's downloaded after the rest of the important stuff on your site is downloaded, but it doesn't really matter. If it's in the header, you're going to get more accurate analytics. Um, for your script, it works quite simply. And we're going to go ahead and look at this on the front end so that way you can see what I'm talking about. The analytics script that it outputs will effectively just put it on a locally hosted URL. It'll put it in the save analytics to slash cache slash CAOS and it will locally host it. The advantage to this is two things, uh, well, a couple of things. Number one, because you're hosting it locally, the Google Analytics script can have expires headers set to it. You can also serve it from your CDN and perform optimizations such as minification, and you can also add broadly compression, which I don't think is enabled by default for Google Analytics. If somebody can check me on that, by all means do so. You can also choose to just insert your server from a CDN URL here. Um, quite frankly though, if you're using Cloudflare, you don't need to do that. And then you can choose where to download the file. Analytics.js is recommended for most situations. You could choose to use gtag.js if that's your preferred implementation. Um, quite honestly though, it doesn't matter all that much. Doesn't look like it adds it on the front end for me. There it goes. We'll just turn this on so that way you can see how the script looks. And as you can see, this is the script here. Async, and then it loads it from your website, backslash cache, analytics.js. Now you might be wondering, how does it update? It basically just adds a simple WordPress cron that will run in the background, and I believe they have it set to once a week to keep the script up to date. Uh, if it's not up to date, your analytics stop functioning, that's why they have it updated on a consistent basis in the background. You can also do some fine tuning in here. You can enable pre-connects, which will pre-connect to googleanalytics.com and your CDN URL if you're doing it. Uh, the pre-connect header basically just says to the browser, hey, I'm gonna need this resource and it's pretty important. Can you basically open up the open the door for it so that way when it gets here, it can just walk on in. And that's kind of what it does. Um, it will reduce the SSL handshake time and the DNS time. So if you're using a DNS prefetch, this would be the step above that. It's not quite the same as preloading the script, but this is like the intermediary. Personally, for most websites, you probably don't need to do this. Uh, your Google Analytics script is important but it's not going to be such a hindrance that I would pre-connect to it if you have other third parties. If your only third party is to the googleanalytics.com and your CDN URL by extension, just go ahead and enable the pre-connect and you will be fine. You could choose to capture outbound links, so when a user clicks a link on your site to leave, it'll be tracked in Analytics.js. 
You could choose to add the cookie expiry time, um, 30 days. You could choose to use an adjusted bounce rate, set up an event which is triggered after a user spends X amount of seconds. This just allows you to modify how your bounce rate is calculated. You can change your in queue order to lower it or higher it so that way it, well, or increase it. So that way it's either loaded after everything or before everything. So if I set the change in queue order to 90, as you can see it's in the footer right now, it's now loaded after everything else. So that can be preferable if you're optimizing your website to focus more on rendering and you're not so much after your analytics data. This is totally fine for most websites. You can also choose to display, uh, disable all display features. So it'll disable advertising reporting and RE marketing, which many of you might not even be using. You could choose to anonymize the IP address, which is required by law in quite a few countries now due to GDPR. In, you could try to track it for logged in administrators. I don't recommend doing that. I just did it to show you the script. And you could just to wipe all settings on uninstall. Uh, there are extensions. Uh, so the extensions are just additional functionality for the analytics.js script. By default, it is in safe mode. Experimental mode will, if Google Analytics, uh, it's, in, it's a faster mode because it'll create, so in safe mode, it works in all environments. It'll create two requests to the plugin. 1302 redirect in the plugin file. And then as it mentioned, the experimental mode will just return the plugin file immediately. It doesn't matter for most websites, none of this really matters. You could choose to enable Google Optimize integration as well as enhanced link attribution. Um, I would go ahead and just enable enhanced link attribution if you wish. And then you can enable stealth mode light, which will bypass ad blocker scripts, or at least it'll try to. This plugin is great if you're not using a analytics integration plugin already. If you're using SiteKit, you do not need this plugin. If you're using PerfMatters, you do not need this plugin because they both have their own means of, anti of integrating Google Analytics. And if you're using WordPress Rocket, you most certainly don't need it because WordPress Rocket has the ability to host your analytics scripts already. This is just a good way to integrate it and host it locally if you have no other means of integration and you want just a really lean, simple integration method that just frankly works. Um, if you have a question about this plugin, please feel free to ask in the comments below. I will try to help you out. Otherwise, make sure to like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.